Hello and welcome to Stop Laughing. I'm your host, Ryan Burns. We're still going strong here at Hobart Hall for Telethon, giving you 15 hours of great programming to help support Autism Speaks, the organization that all proceeds from today will go towards. We still have great prizes here that you can win through our raffle, including a 32-inch LCD HD TV, a PS3, gift cards galore, and more. If you can't make it to Hobart Hall, you can go online to autismspeaks.org to find out more about the organization as well as how to donate. And with that being said, let's kick things off and introduce our guest for the evening. First up, we have Mickey Weldy, Dylan McGrath, Rick Rosen, and Chuck McDonald. All right, guys, let's get started with a game called Who's My Date? Now, this is for all four of you guys. Uh, Rick will be our eligible bachelor, and he'll have to guess who his possible dates are after asking them a series of questions. Our other three contestants have just received their characters for the scene. So, guys, whenever you're ready, who's my date? Hey, guys. Uh, bachelor number one. Uh, like, on our first date, like, where do we go? Um, well, hi. It's nice to meet you. Uh, we could go anywhere you wanted, um, as long as we just obeyed all the traffic laws. <coughs> um, and we got there safely and just made sure that we had a good time. Um, yeah, nothing specific. Wouldn't doesn't really matter to me so much. Wow, you you sound real dangerous. Um, bachelor number three, like, yes. what's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> well, first of all, I'd love to thank you uh, for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I w I'd love to thank my family, uh, the the production crew, my team, and most of all. I uh, would love to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be on the show. And you said ice cream flavor? Um, I'd probably say um, chocolate. It's because it's the color of the pig skin. And I really love, I love what I do. Uh, I'm just so lucky. I'm blessed. It's just, uh, just. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. That's like pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> Bachelor number two. Let me hear what you oh, gotta say. Yeah. If I was a car funny. bachelor number two, what kind of car would I be and how, how would you wash me? First of all, I'd come up to your hood and take it a little bit of this. <laughs> and then I'd give you a little bit of that. And then I'd wipe it down and then I'd come over and say, has anyone heard of a car that's been washed better than this one? God, that's amazing. God oh my you. God. <laughs> It's pretty intense. Ooh. 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 Bachelor number one. Oh, yeah. Can you oh. do better than that? What do you have to say about that? Uh, that, that got me a little frightened. Actually, I just don't want to be near him anymore. I just really don't want to be around this guy. Right. Ooh. Or, or you, either. Well, that's not no. very nice. I'm sorry. I'm just a little, my hands are sweaty and just uh, frightened. Bachelor oh, number yeah. three, what do you think is the most important part of a relationship? Uh, that probably the genuine love that you'd have for one another. Um, it certainly has uh, nothing to do with the sexual side. Uh, gotta wait, gotta save yourself, you know? <laughs> Until after the big day, you really can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, I would, I would definitely say, you know, kind of a little look you give each other. You know, that little gleam that you see in each other's eye. It's really special. God bless. Oh, bachelor number three. That's so cute. Uh, bachelor number two. Where would we go on our first date? We would go down to Madison Square Garden. You and me next Sunday night. No holds bar. Me and you coming closer and closer until I'm there and I can smell your sweat. <laughs> and then I would pick you up. <sighs> and then we would get bottle dry. Stop! Oh. I choose bachelor number two. I choose bachelor number two. Choose bachelor number two. Amazing. Choose bachelor number two. Uh, <laughs> truly blessed. Oh my god. <laughs> these guys playing. Who were your Who are we going to start with? One? Yeah. Uh, bachelor number one was the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 No? Mickey was someone who was scared of everything. Someone who was scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You did seem scared of everything. And all really phobic. Good. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, what, who was Charlie? 
Charlie was, uh, judging by this, I would say Tim Tebow. Yes. Which is ironic, because you were good the whole way through, not just in the end. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey. And what about Dylan? Did I complete Dylan? most of my past? Dylan was uh, somewhere between Randy Savage and The Rock <laughs> and uh, Scorpion. He was a Mortal professional Kombat. wrestler. Yeah. He had to be a professional wrestler. That was yeah. crazy. That was great it. job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it was oh pretty good. My God. I, I gotta be Nothing. honest though, I feel like that would be Dylan on any date, not just a professional <laughs> not wrestler. Not just that for the physical. sake of the show. All right guys, well next up is Ding. Now in this game, Rick and Charlie will perform a scene in which at any time I can ring this bell and whatever line was said last has to be changed. Now in this scene, Rick and Charlie will be two elves working in Santa's workshop. So guys, whenever you're ready. All right. All right. <laughs> You got plenty of stuff to bake for Christmas. Yeah, know? I'm gonna work on this train. You finish that Easy Bake Oven. Okay, I can do the Easy Bake Oven. You know what they say. One, two, three, and it's done. You what? Know. You know what they say. You put it in, it comes out finished. <laughs> you know what they say. You put it in, it bakes easily. Easy Bake. Easy Bake, <laughs> Easy Bake, that's what they say. Amazing. So if you one thing, I, we used to be making a lot of trains. Now they got a lot of iPods being made and oh, things like that. It's, 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 it's so, a technolo uh, technological age. These kids uh, these <laughs> days, they're getting crazy. <laughs> these kids these days, they're underfed. <laughs> These kids these days, they watch way too much Law and Order. I would have to agree with the Law and Order statement, especially that SVU. SVU! Way too much. All right, Ice we got, tea! Okay, I do we think the big I always watch package. him. Kindles! Kindles! Uh, who, oh. need, who needs real books? Right? Who needs real books? We got e-books. I said these. Who needs real books? We got magazines. Who needs real books? Girl with the dragon tattoos being made into a movie. That's true. That's true. That's true. I cannot wait That's to true. That's true. Yeah. I'm That's so glad this electronics company is making Where is the big red man himself? The big guy! <laughs> He's gotta help us carry all these things. I'm way too weak to carry he all really... these things. I am way too inadequate to be handling this. You know, it's just ridiculous. He only comes in when he tells us to come in off our smoke break, and I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, let's, I mean, it's... It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. A little bit of a slave master, that Santa Claus. You could call him that. I just like to call him Papa Claus. I just like to call him fat. I just like to call him the bearded wizard. <laughs> the bearded wizard. <laughs> I actually want to see Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, so I, 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 I didn't know it was book, and now you ruined it for me. But guys, we'll be right back with more of our telethon edition of Staff Laughing, so don't go anywhere. You have the time to give and your country needs you. Take what you learned during your life and apply those skills to your community. Shape tomorrow by being a mentor and tutor for children. Make independence a reality for people to continue to make their house their home. Make a difference today. Get involved. Okay, welcome back to Stop Laughing. I'm your host, Ryan Burns. Now, next up will be everyone's favorite, Scenes from a Hat. Now, guys, this is going to include all four of you. Now, for those of you who don't know how to play, I have a select list of scenes in this hat right here that will read off to our performers, and they will act them out accordingly. Now, guys, our first scene is... Things you wouldn't say at a job interview. Yes, sir. I'm HIV positive. I'm the man for the position. <laughs> good. Um, see, now when you want somebody for the garbage man position, showering is something that's obsolete. You don't need to do it. So I figured I'd, okay. Yeah. okay. Things you would ask your iPhone. You would ask Things your you would ask your iPhone. Uh, Siri, uh, why was this so expensive? <laughs> <laughs> So true. <laughs> Man, it's, it's so hard. Oh. Siri, do I need friends to play words with friends? <laughs> That's terrible. Siri, we can get married, right? Yeah. Siri, how do you get to the club? <laughs> It'll do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, is feeding my baby Pop Rocks a good idea? No. Okay, majors you wish existed. 
Welcome to MacGyver 101. Today we're gonna take <laughs> this paper clip and this burlap sack and we're gonna take down that airplane. <laughs> that is Come on everybody, get in the magic school bus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a party major! We just party! I got class on Thursday, we're partying. Class on Friday, we're drinking! <laughs> Uh, welcome to Bros 101. <laughs> uh, I need some pennies, some frisbees, and I think we're ready to do it. <laughs> Get some blacks. <laughs> this is supposed to be procrastination 250. Class canceled again? <laughs> <laughs> Rejected fast food slogans. Oh. Um. We got the best beef for you to put in your mouth. <laughs> See that why that would be rejected, to be perfectly honest. Welcome to Denny's. Best if viewed from a distance. <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's, where our beef's 25%, but 100% filling. That's that line up. <laughs> TCBY, straight to your thighs. <laughs> That's a frozen yogurt yeah, joke. Right. Frozen, yeah. yogurt. frozen yogurt joke. Think, might be a first. That's things you joke. wouldn't mention at a eulogy. Things you would not mention during a eulogy. And then Ryan Burns had to host this awful comedy show <laughs> that we just don't want to talk about. That's something I don't want mentioned. You know, I really was not thinking that the bullet was going to hurt him in any way. <laughs> and that was the first time that Ryan and I had intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna. No, 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 no,
I just want to point out for the folks watching at home that the car did in fact go from normal American model yeah. to English model to the steering wheel right in the middle That's with two it. seats on each yeah. side. Yeah, they should. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Stop Laughing. For the trees on our street. At my campground. We promise to not move firewood. Because the Emerald Ash Borer Beetle could be inside. You move firewood, you spread the beetle. We promise to not move firewood. Join us at StopTheBeetle.info. Okay, welcome back to Stop Laughing. I'm your host, Ryan Burns. For our next game, all four players will be playing sportscasters. Now, Charlie and Rick will be the host of a sports broadcast for a non-sports activity, while Mickey will be the field reporter and Dylan will be the athlete. And the sport you guys are going to be covering is going to be making a last-minute science project at the science fair. And we'll be right back to dog hurdles after this special, special announcement. We are have a feed live. In the local science fair. I'm excited, Rick. Are you excited? Yes, we are coming to you live from PS 126 in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and it is the 33rd annual science fair. Been a lot of hot competition today. Wow. Neil Bohr, I'm your co host, Alan Einstein. And we got a lot of great science going on today. We're going to go live to the floor where Tim Rutherford B. Hayes has our next contestant, Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Hello, I am Tim Rutherford B. Hayes, Grover Cleveland, and uh, we are here at the uh, 33rd Annual Elementary <laughs> Science Fair. Um, I'm here with a very special person that I met earlier today. He has something that he's putting into the science fair. Looks a little old to be here, but um, can you tell us what you're making and, um, you know, why? Well, I thought I would make a volcano to show the troubles of the volcanic areas. You know, I haven't seen a volcano since 93. I haven't seen a volcano since yesterday. Okay, wow, we live different lives. Well, uh, with mine, what I want to do a little bit different with, I'm going to have a little village right here to simulate the effects of a volcano. Okay, so when the volcano does erupt, mm -hmm. you expect the lava to come flowing over the side on the, the, the village. I don't expect anything. It is science. It will happen every time. Okay, <laughs> Tim, brother, baby, he's wow. going to Cleveland. We're going to take it up here and call this as it happens. What I have is our little contestant's going to have All two right. minutes to construct his project from beginning to end. This should be a good We're one, We're going to break folks. the whole thing down. That's are you it. ready on the floor? We, we are ready. Three, are, are you ready, sir? Two, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. You You're off. Go. And we're off at the 30th Annual Science wow, Fair. He's look at that. adding his ingredients that is real vinegar, carefully. That is white distilled vinegar. You can I get believe. that almost anywhere. Yes, you can. Any local supermarket. That looks like baking soda to me. Is that baking soda? That is definitely baking definitely soda. Definitely baking very soda. Very common. Thank he's you. stirring. He's, well, he's, he's looking at his ingredients like he's not really sure uh, what's going to happen here. I, I think he Whoa. said he expects it to erupt. He said he's got a village. He's setting up the small people. village. Okay, so now he's tinkering with that, getting that ready. About a quarter Everything. of the way done with his time as he begins to prepare for the eruption. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Here we Let's go. see. What, oh, 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 it got oh, all, all over his over. face. There's vinegar everywhere. That is, vinegar does Let's not feel good. Up. Check out some slow motion. See how we got to that point. And here we as go. Here he is. As Waiting. he begins to add the final, stop right there. He begins to add the final ingredient. He has no My idea what's going God. on. And there he goes. He adds the ingredient. And, and, and out of nowhere, he doesn't see it coming. It erupts <laughs> right into his face. Wow, this is much more disgusting to the watch. The force of which in. has crippled him to the ground. And we can see there's some debris <laughs> hitting Tim Rutherford B. Hayes, Gorba Cleveland, which is very, very unfortunate. Uh, if we want to go down, go down to yeah. Uh, let's Tim. go down to the floor. Tim, are you see okay? what happened on that? Well, guys, I am covered with what seems to be ketchup. It smells like ketchup um, and vinegar. <laughs> it's a strong uh, odor. Um, that didn't go as planned. Sometimes science doesn't work out how you hope. What do you have to say about what just happened? It seems that I have blinded myself. <laughs> um, it didn't hit the village, obviously, um, but it did show you what happens when volcanoes erupt. They're just, uh, you don't know. You Tim, never know. Tim, can you please ask him if he is blinded completely? Can you not see at all? Now, my special friend, do you think that you are actually blind forever? Can you see me or any of the lights? 
I can see, and I'm really enjoying that hat you're wearing there. It's uh, very right. stylish. I like what you're trying to do there. Well, guys, uh, I think he's blind. I think he's blind. Yeah, he's, he's blind. blind. <laughs> really? Blinded by science. Wow. I have to get that in A there. wonderful fact. Blinded by, wonderful. Science. by science. <laughs> Great it job, guys. with science. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, our next game is Pocket Lines. This is going to be for Mickey and Dylan, yes, and they will be performing a scene. Uh, they will be performing a scene at random, where at random times they will be re reaching into their pockets for one of these lines of dialogue, if you guys want to come over here and get them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're really good, so. Okay, the scene you two will be competing, uh, the scene will be you two competing in giving uh, speeches or toasts at a wedding. Mm -hmm. So you'll both be giving toasts Interrupting each other back and forth. Okay. Got it. So, guys, whenever you're ready, pocket lines. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, everyone. Uh, Hi. I would just like to say a few Hello. lines. Let me just. Thanks I, for the introduction. Well, no, I just want to say what I have to say first, because uh, me and Tim have been friends the longest. Mind you, short. Let me just grab this. Please stand clear of the doors, everyone. <laughs> uh, just need a little safety. Thanks. Martin. Tim, you know, you and I, mm -hmm. uh, we've known each other for so long. Not really that um, long. And when we were younger, one of the, like, the funniest mm -hmm. things I remember you telling me was one time we were at my house. You walked up to me and you whispered into my ear. I just couldn't help but laugh. And you said, we stuffed animals. My stuffed animals are uncover ninjas. Undercover ninjas. <laughs> I started like erupting in laughter. And I, I didn't even know okay, what you so said. Something... So you need a it speech was, class. Was, <laughs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> as the best man, I think that I shall be talking about actual hilarity that ensued with me and me and, me and the, the husband over there. Well, no, the funny thing was is that I, he chose me as the best man. No, you know what the funny thing was? They called me Mr. Boomtastic, Killer Fantastic. <laughs> so, a kind of a big deal around here. Well, I, mean, I know that Tim's family doesn't really like you. Actually, just the other day, his mom came over and he said, you know what I think about that kid, the, uh, the other one who isn't the uh, best man? What did he say? She said, she said, sometimes you just need a big mop for a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> you being the big mess, me being the big mop. And uh, she thought that I should maybe handle you, take you outside and make sure that you didn't ruin the, the wedding, which is what you're doing right now. Well, as a janitor, Tim, you'd be most qualified to, to do you, that. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't work at Well, you do, so because just... your wife came over last night, and she said, we got to do it for the kids. <laughs> and, and it's just, sometimes that happens. Uh, OK, so uh, we'll get past that. Um, Tim, your lovely wife now. Um, Coming on her a little known, strong. Her, Watch we've out. known each other a long time. Um, I just want to say one thing to you, honey, because you know we'll be Ooh, seeing honey, each other often. Uh -oh. Just know that after Christmas, I don't trust you with my dog. I just want to <laughs> let you know that. So, last oh. time it got pretty sick. Doesn't sound like someone who should be giving a speech if they don't even trust him to watch. Listen, this is my best friend. You no, know, he I've trusts known me to him do. Longer you know it. Know it. He always I've says to me when we see each you. other. You know what he always says to me? What? What is that stench? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Because you're that? always around him <laughs> and you smell, <laughs> and just going back about the big mess and the. Yeah, you, you do smell That's, pretty bad. You smell pretty bad right now. That's not true. Actually. I have a very nice stench. Right, just listen. It's a family just motto. Just listen to everyone. Have. Just listen to me for a second okay. because you're rambling about nothing. Uh, I just have not one true. last thing not I want to say. That's what I was afraid of. Him coming up here and ruining this, uh, my, you know, my speech. Yeah, well, my you best know what man I have to say. Friend, Tim. You know what you know, I have to say. Tim and I have known each other. I longer. have to say. And, uh, let's hear it for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my God. Got a big mess. That was great. Uh, Dylan is a big mess, but no, that was great, guys. That was great. We'll be right back with more Stop Laughing, guys. Don't go anywhere here for Telethon uh, Fall Semester 2011. I'm Peter Gallagher. Infantile scoliosis is a potentially fatal condition that is curable if treated under the age of two. Don't wait. Visit infantilescoliosis.org. When you save a life, you save a world. Welcome back to Stop Laughing, guys. For our final game, all four players will be playing Hollywood director. Now, in this game, Charlie will be a movie director, and the other three will be actors in his movie. Now, while directing them during a scene, he can change up the genre, setting, or whatever he feels necessary to make what he thinks would be an award-winning film. 
Now, guys, the name of the movie will be Woof, There It Is, a buddy cop movie. So, Charlie, whenever you're ready, take it away. All right, guys. Here we are on the set of Woof, There It Is. We're going to need you. Right now, you're going to play out the scene where Rick, you're going to be arresting Mickey. Dylan, your Rick's slapstick partner. It's a buddy cop movie. You got Let's it. See, we can do action. You can't come take here. me. Come you here, can't here, take I'll me come down. down. You can't take me. You're going downtown. Listen, it wasn't no. me, man. I'm telling you, it wasn't me, dude. Here, hey, let me let me man. take him from here. You Listen, say, let hey, me just get these. Can you, can you just make them a little? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no! What did I do? Oh no! All right, cut, 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 cut. Guys, you're missing the point. Woof! There it is. Right, right, okay. Uh, they need to be okay. more like dogs. Dogs. More like dogs. 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 More okay, like dogs. ready? Same thing, and action. Hey, I smelled you <laughs> out, dog. <laughs> You're going downtown. <laughs> this is a no rough bones job. No bone for you. Rough, rough. Rough job. Rough, rough. I rough smelled it. Measures. Uh, rough. Uh, Woof, there it is. Uh, rough, rough. <laughs> Uh, woo! Woo! Uh, woo! Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What, he, what do we do? Uh, <laughs> 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 guys, guys, cut, cut. That I, I was, was doing the dog. Awful. I was doing the dog. That's terrible. I don't Forget even know what this movie's about. Stick. Forget the dog shtick. You're gonna do it more, more like a soap opera, okay? Be okay. real dramatic. Still need the slapstick. Still, Still slapstick. Be funny. Yeah. Still slapstick. Well, there it is. Listen. I'm about to take down the biggest perp of my life. I need to make sure that when I'm there, you don't fall on me. <laughs> hey, man! Oh! I know it's only me in this world, and this is all I've got, and this is all Listen. I can do, but you're gonna go downtown. Listen, Wait. you have the wrong guy. I am telling you I can bring you to the man who actually did this. I was a witness to what happened. I, I guys, saw... cut! Sorry, needs more breakdancing. Right Start from the top, action. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all, I saw that guy, and it wasn't me. Don't worry, I'll it. get him. <laughs> <laughs> this is madness. We'll never be able to catch the drunk lord with all Don't this worry. horrible beat breaking. I got him. <laughs> Make sure when you send it, you send it back. Can't catch me when I'm running this fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> There's so many different ways that Wolf There It Is could be a buddy cop movie, but none of those ways should be made in a Hollywood movie. Guys, thank you very much for watching Stop Laughing here during Telethon. We still have a lot more to go here at Hobart Hall and on WPTV6. Coming up next, we are showing WPTV6 behind the scenes where you can get a first-hand look and see how all of our shows here operate and how some of these shows can get really hectic, including this one. Following that, we have three straight hours of live programming taking you up to midnight, where we will close out our telethon, announce our raffle winners, and finally start cleaning up. So come on down to Hobart Hall. You can still enter to win all of our great prizes, or you can donate online at autismspeaks.org. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ryan Burns. See you later. Clap it up. Let's do it.